Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Medgate today presents Healthy Talk Show, where we elevate your journey to optimal health through expert insights and empowering stories. Here, leaders speak and industry listens. I'm your host, Ritika Singh. Today, it is with great excitement and anticipation that we welcome our distinguished guest, Dr. Rajiv Gautam, President at Horeba India. Mr. Gautam leads with visionary expertise at the helm of Horeba India, a subsidiary of the global powerhouse Horeba Group. For those who may not be very familiar with Horeba, Horeba is a beacon of innovation in the world of analytical and measurement instruments. Renowned for its groundbreaking work across diverse fields such as automotive testing, environmental monitoring and medical diagnostics, Horeba stands as a testament to excellence and ingenuity in technology. Under Dr. Gautam's leadership, Horeba India has not only embraced the company's legacy of cutting-edge solutions but has also made significant strides in advancing technological capabilities and fostering industry advancements within the Indian market. His strategic vision is steering the company towards new heights, enhancing the landscape of analytical and measurement technologies in the region. Today, we are honored to hear from Dr. Gautam, whose wealth of experience and passion for innovation continues to drive Horeba India forward. His insights will undoubtedly illuminate the remarkable work being done and the exciting future that lies ahead. Please join me in extending a warm welcome to Dr. Rajiv Gautam, a leader whose dedication and expertise are shaping the future of technology and analytics in India. Thank you so much, sir, for coming here and letting us to host you today. Thanks, Ritika, and thanks to Medgate, Medgate to bring you this conversation. So it will be hopeful, it will be uh, beneficial for all the all the viewers who are seeing this program. Thank you so much, sir. My pleasure. So my first question to you, Horeba is known for its advanced technology and you can say precision instruments. So what inspired you to lead the, uh, the company in India and how Horeba is aligning in the market of India? Uh, Horeba as a global company is a site in the year of 71st year of the uh, establishment of this organization is around 2.5 billion dollar uh, group there are multi multiple uh, businesses we do now coming to your questions that we also do the same things which is what on india side we do it uh, the same thing which is the five businesses we have which we re merged into a uh, three groups phase but right now we wanted to do it in the same way for the mobility, for the medical, for semiconductor. So it is all the same philosophy of Horeba group, but for is especially designed for the Indian masses and for the Indian industry. And uh, as I know, Horeba has a reputation of innovation and you can say technological advancements. So can you tell us some of your exciting projects and innovation coming forward and how much you are like into it? We are very much into it. Two reasons. One forced by this government of this uh, Make in India initiative. So earlier, actually we started in 2006. Uh, Horiba India, establishment of uh, Horiba in India. But we were doing more of a import and sell. Mm -hmm. okay, so we, ultimately our Japan was manufacturing or the France was manufacturing or US was manufacturing and we were just bringing the products to the country. This was the maybe story of five, five years back or something. Mm -hmm. Now suddenly the things have changed. One, the make in India. Now we cannot participate in a lot of tenders if we are not this thing. So that is being forced to us. This is by force. Now by compulsion of the business is that right now customer has become very choosy. The time was there then okay it's the Japan technology the customer used to accept it. Now customer wants this product to be acclimatized to 
his or her requirement mm-hmm. so there is need to modify the products of fariba which is okay for 90% uh, is okay for the global perspective or 10% we have to modify as per the need of the hour of the or for the industry mm-hmm. so that's why the two things has made us that in our own manufacturing here all the in automotive we are doing in pune for medical instruments we do it in nagpur and uh, also in the semiconductor mass pro controllers we do in uh, pune so s- slowly slowly we are getting into Uh, the manufacturing now in, instead of just doing the imports and sell like trading okay so in in our right now it is 30 70 means 30% we manufacture it here 70% it comes from uh, outside now we want it to in 2028 next 5 years we want to reverse it to 70 30 mm-hmm. and that's i think the question is that ki how it is relevant for innovation for india mm-hmm. and uh, if i say what are the principles and values that drive the company's success and how do you foster the team work into your horiba india uh, group see although you say you talked about innovation and technologies other things but i think uh, horiba is a people's company dr horiba masa horiba who started this company in 1945 and his reason was joy and fun omashiro okashiko so about joy and fun so it's a people's company he said that the maximum maximum hours of a employee is being spent in the in the company yeah. so if there is no joy and fun in the work yeah. then you are the productivity is not there that is not going to work so yes there is a innovation there is everything but there is a joy and fun motto for uh, for this company and we do a lot of activity for our own people our own human resource so i am again saying it's a technology company everything but our prime motto is the people it's a people's company and the joint fund yeah that's a joint so omoshiro in japanese you say it and you can see it in all our logos and our visiting cards everywhere we promote it here. So uh, as we all know that environment sustainability is a critical focus nowadays globally. So how does Horeba India is contributing to a greener India or you can say greener future and in both corporate practices and products practices. That's a very relevant question and uh, it's called sustainability yes. cor- from the corporate side. Uh, Horeba works on a 5 years plan just like india has a 5 years plan so like we call it ml map so we are right now in 24 to 28 5 years uh, business plan the major focus on this plan is innovation uh, and sustainability sustainability comes from a corporate sustainability comes from a perspective of uh, 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 corporate uh, uh, responsibility towards the society Hariba has decided to become carbon neutral by 2050. Wow. Okay, for Hariba, Hariba, and around 40 percent we wanted to bring up to 2030. Now this is global. Okay, there are a lot of manufacturing, a lot of things. But coming to India, we today we are also decided to cut our all the uh, our uh, this is called as a emissions uh, something. so that we wanted to by 2028 we reduce by uh, 50% of that so we are already working on a, on a solar panels and other things so so many activities are happening to and but we have a uh, we have given a commitment to the hariba global to cut it our emissions by 50% by 2028 although it's not compulsion on on by legality you know it's only i think 100 company has been selected by the by the indian government to push on that we are not part of that but we have taken it of our own self yes. and as a moral thing for the country or for the world for the yes as we are coming towards the closure so my last question to you as a 
leader in this field what initiative has horeba india taken to nurture the next generation who are coming into this industry as i said it's a this company is driven by the technical innovation and the people's company and also it has to be there for the public so i give two example we have our own lab in indian institute of science bangalore mm. we have all the equipments raman fluorescent everything and it's just free of cost we just put it in indian institute of science the students comes they do the experiment and they publish their research papers and everything so this is our our situation for the social cause or for the young generation or the young people the similar type of lab we have in indian institute of technology at delhi uh then again the some instruments are there and uh, and the team is using same third way is in nagpur we call as a hiti is a horiba india technical institute so a lot of young pathologists and medical professionals are coming and getting trained here we have affiliation with nagpur university for that so this is all just our efforts in nothing commercial about it just just as a our message to the young generation to train them and it's good for the building up the future of the young generation mm -hmm. so maybe we can do something else in couple of more universities and everything we are working on it but as on today these are the three initiative which we are taking mm -hmm. that's uh, for the young generations for the yes thank you for telling us all the insights of your life into the horeba india group and what initiatives and what all the principal horeba has As we wrap up today's engaging session I want to extend our deepest thank you to Dr Rajiv Gautam for sharing his valuable insights and for offering us a glimpse into the dynamic world of Horeba India Dr Gautam your leadership at Horeba India is a beacon of innovation and excellence in the realm of analytical and measurement technologies your vision and strategic acumen are not only driving the company to new heights but also contributing significantly to the advancements across multiple industries in India we greatly appreciate the time you have taken to enlighten us about the exciting developments at Horeba and your role in shaping the company's future Your passion and commitment are truly inspiring and they highlight the incredible potential and impact of technology in today's world. Thank you once again Dr. Gautam for your insightful contributions and for being with us today and to everyone who joined us thank you for your participation and engagement. We look forward to the contribution and advancements in the innovation that Horeba India will undoubtedly bring. Have a wonderful day. Stay tuned and do subscribe. Thank you.